Welcome back to Between Bells. Kicking off today, Christie's Auction House is offering an online auction of two important relics of Wikipedia's past directly from the site's founder. The online sale entitled The Birth of Wikipedia takes place beginning today till the 15th and consists of two items. And joining us now to discuss is Wikipedia's founder, Jimmy Wales. Jimmy, welcome to Chatter News. Thanks so much for joining us. People can get their Thank hands you on your personal strawberry iMac that you used in the creation of Wikipedia, yep. as well as the site's first edit. So what inspired you to partner with Christie's for this auction? By the way, those both sound amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, I had been, uh, I've had this computer for a long time now. And uh, in fact, just a few months ago, it was, um, I actually had it in the original box and it was my printer stand. So I never really thought about it as being valuable. Uh, but then <laughs> I saw, you know, some, digital collectibles were going for new prices and things like that. And I thought, oh, this is interesting. And so um, I contacted Christie's and they thought this was very exciting uh, to do. Uh, so we put this computer, which has uh, got a lot of memories with this computer from the early days of Wikipedia, um, you know, getting up late at night, watching edits go on and things like that at various points. Um, and then we also decided it'd be fun to do an NFT. Um, and I decided that rather than doing just an image, which is what most NFTs are, to do more of an interactive thing. So it's an NFT that you can edit. So the idea is that you can go, um, once it's once it's been sold, the owner can, can turn it on and anyone can edit the page and it will be reflected in the NFT. Um, it's very cool. And it's actually fun if you look at it, you see the US flag there. That's a funny little relic uh, that wasn't ever like a real logo. It's just when I was installing the software, I needed to have a logo and that flag just happened to be on my computer. So I used it for a, a little bit. So fascinating. On the topic of the strawberry iMac, I feel like there are hoarders everywhere who are just freaking out about this auction and very excited that <laughs> something that used to once hold your printer is now going to Christie's. I want to talk about the NFT, though. Um, you mentioned a bit of it. The first edit, Hello World, made by you during the site's launch 20 years ago. Um, and some Easter eggs like that American flag in the corner. But what do you think it embodies about the site itself? Well, I mean, I think what's interesting about um, this, and I, I do think of it as, as a work of art in a sense, it's, it's about the experience. Like Wikipedia is never a snapshot. It's never a moment in time. It's dynamic. And so I want people to reflect on, you know, that moment when I installed the software and I had this dream of an encyclopedia for everyone. And I didn't know, you know, would the site be taken over by trolls in two days? Would just nobody would pay any attention? Um, how could I build a community? What kind of rules would we have? How would we, you know, think about it? And at that point, it wasn't even in the nonprofit organization. It was, it was, that wasn't even a thought at the time. It was just a project I wanted to work on. And so all of those unknowns were in the future for me. At that moment, I sat and got this software working and said, hello world and thinking, okay, let's see if we can do this. And to me, that's like a, a fun thing to contemplate and, uh, you know, it's ended up being so meaningful in the world of Wikipedia. And so it's kind of amazing that it came from just that. Another aspect of this auction that is interesting is that the proceeds will help support your alternative social media network pilot project. It's called WT Social. Can you tell us more about it and also what your mission is? Sure. So the idea of WT Social is to bring together everything that I've learned over the years about collaboration and community and to think about new ways that we might build social networks that rather than relying on algorithms to drive engagement, which as we know has led to a lot of unpleasant things in the world, to have uh, no advertising, uh, business model, uh, no paywalls, and just to say, you know, like let's all work together and try to create uh, healthy social spaces. Um, and I hope people will support it by donating. Um, so that's, that's the concept. And uh, been going for a couple of years, but I haven't had enough money to really drive it forward. Um, and I really want to be able to invest more in it. So I'm, I'm excited about that possibility. And last question, Jimmy, before we let you go, we know Wikipedia is striving to be a collaborative informational site, but it is run by volunteers. What do you see as the future of the platform? Well, I mean, I, I think we're, we're very stable. We've got a great community. Um, you know, the Wikimedia Foundation, which is the charity that I set up that owns and operates Wikipedia is financially secure, although we always have to take fundraising very seriously. Um, and so really we're thinking about the future. We're thinking about 
uh, you know, the next uh, billion people coming online. We're thinking about growth in the developing world. Um, and we're always thinking about quality. How do we make Wikipedia better? Jimmy Wales, Wikipedia's founder, thank you so much for joining us again here on Between Bells. Such an interesting interview and good luck with the auction.